Good evening, Draftaholics, and welcome to Draft Punks, the most overgrown draft channel on the internet. My name is Sam, known on the internet as Carmera, and I'm joined this weekend every week by Adrian Walker. How are we doing, Adrian? Uh, I'm, I've, I've been walking through the, the weeds for hours now. I've, I just got to the microphone. Everything is overgrown and, and full of brambles and stuff over here. Oh, I know the feeling. It's uh, it's not the weeds that are overgrown here, though. It's my hair. It's just about down to the floor. Oh, damn. Well, I mean... Ooh. That, that draft table filled up really quickly. There wasn't much time for humour just then. Yeah, no, no. This is a no-comedy draft. No, this is a Shia LaBeouf draft. Actual cannibal. Shia LaBeouf! Ember's Dean of Shadow. <laughs> he go- he does kind of eat people though look at him like the the ability like he's yeah, like yeah. i'm gonna eat you that's true uh cool i um i actually did a little bit of research on on old shia labeouf here through the week because i had an interesting pack one pick one <laughs> and not his long ago. storied uh film film <laughs> filmography <laughs> yeah as found on 17lands.com <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, because I had a pick that was between Shyla and, uh, Ruther. And so I was very, very interested in, like, which of those is actually more powerful. Uh, coming to this pack, this one doesn't have much for us. It could be Reflective Golem. Or if you were drafting in paper, you might take Teferi's Protection to pay for your draft. Correct. Yeah, that would be a fair option. But I think for us, I'm just going to grab Expanded Anatomy. I think if you're, uh, if we're, uh... A silver quill deck or a law hold deck, then I think expanded anatomy is the lesson you really want to have access to. And I don't even mind having multiples, so I think I'm just going to pick that up now. Oh, I agree. Um, but yeah, so the thing I found in the data is that Ruther has a really high um, win rate when you draw it at any point in the game, but Shyla has a really high win rate in your opening hand specifically. Oh. So it was really difficult to compare them as to like which one was actually better. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah. And so funnily enough, Ruth, the other interesting pack that I've had recently, I'm just going to take a Spirit Summoning out of this pack. Like I think Shadowin Laureate is fine. I don't I actually think, it's, think it's amazing. Every time I've seen it played, like it, the, the you, Shadewing. You have your flyers have to die. Yeah. And even then all you get is a plus one plus one count. And that's it. Yeah. 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 So it's, I mean, it's possibly Star Pupil would be the next best pick. That's a good point. I mean, Stone Rain for the big memes. Um, <laughs> yeah. I've seen a couple of people with the uh, the copy the Stone Rain sort of plan. Get it back with with Pillar Drop. Oh, that's cute. And just, yeah, cool. Just go full Ponza. Yeah, that's cool. Uh right. Campus or ingredient. So I think at this point, like we could make a decision and go into red, white, and pick the sloth. What do you think of the sloth? Yeah, I think it's fine. I don't think Lawhold really wants five drops. Uh, it's it's fine. I think if I was going to take a red card, I'd take Infuriate. I think I'm actually going to take Emergent Sequence though. Oh really? Because Emergent Sequence and Berry and Books both being here might tell me that Quandrix is open. Oh, um, so we're gonna we're gonna move completely. Well, I'm, I want to leave us the option too, because I'd rather be in the open guild than like have a have an infuriate to go with my Shyla. Oh, Whoa. well, okay. There yeah, we go. you you know That's what you we were right, open. Sam. That's why we stay open, friends. Bookworm. Bookworm's a good one, and it goes very nicely with emergent sequence as well. That it does. Yeah. That's, wow. That's fifth pick, bookworm. Strong card. Nuts. Yeah, I mean, if we're still in, if we're stuck to our silver core guns, necrotic fumes isn't bad either. But anyway, bookworm's great. Um, invocation is good. So is the other yeah. lesson. Yeah, lesson's fine. I think it's kind of close between. I mean, there's a snow day here as well. Snow day, the invocation, eureka moment, intro of prophecy. I think they're all fine. Or we could play green white. How wild would that be? I reckon there's like a a non-zero. You should do that a non-zero amount of the time. I haven't done it in this format yet. I haven't done an off 
an off guild. Ugh, no, I wish I'd picked otherwise. <laughs> um, I haven't done an off guild draft yet, but I mean, maybe this is the one. Could be. Maybe this is the. Oh, that is oh pledge mage. Damn, that's a late pledge mage. Late pledge mage, late serpentine curve as well. Yeah. And I, I really like Mentor's Guidance. It always seems to get cut from my decks, though. Like, it goes really nicely with things like Quantrix Pledge Mage. But... It does, yeah. And, like, I was... Conf- like, I always misread what triggers it. It's, like, basically any type. <laughs> like, pick a yeah, type yeah, that's in the set. Anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Ooh, okay. Kelpie Guide or Eureka Moment? I like the Kelpie Guide. But, um... Oh man, our Selesnia dreams are, are are dropping away. I know. I, I mean, know. Wait, how good is Charlotte a splash? Probably not great. Oh uh, yeah, probably not great. But I guess like Dean on the double black is also a little dubious. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's possible. Possible that we're with a bloom from here, but black has not seemed open. No, it has seemed the opposite of open. Like yeah. we're in like the Tamer seat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um. I used to be a fan of biomimetic biomimetization. Biomethematician. Where's where's Bane's nond? <laughs> yeah, I used to be a fan of biomathematician, but uh... <laughs> Did I mess the it up again? Casual <laughs> Just no, I'm really impressed by the casual like, oh there it is in the pack again, and you moused over it as you were saying it. Oh right! Like almost thought, as you if you planned it. You burst out laughing, it. and I thought I, I thought I just said like a biomethician again. No, it was just it was <laughs> the perfect realizing. moment. You were like, and here it is again, and I'll just keep talking about it like nothing happened. It's like I know what's in the packs. Got to got to pay those arena devs. That is true. If you listen to our uh, our best ofs, you know that we're actually uh, we, we we spend a lot of our budget on getting the arena developers on the take. Ooh. So that we we get hooked up for exciting draft content for everyone. One one could even say a hundred percent of our budget goes to the arena devs. That's a good point. Um, ooh, nice. that's a good one. Yeah, you were right, Sam. See, I would have. See, I'm I'm not like you. I don't have the guts to like leave my first picks colors. I'm like, no, I picked this and I'm playing it. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I really think like. The key to this format is just like make sure you know which college or guild is the open one for your seat. That's just like more important than anything. So I'm yeah, pretty good... happy we made that switch. I would really love a fractal. Actually, we don't even have that much learn at the moment, but I would love a fractal. I don't think we summoning. have any learn. Really what... Yeah. So anyway, I love Quantrix Prentice. So I had this in a draft uh, a couple of days ago, and I, I'm got to a point where I knew every card in my deck and in which order. My deck was just... Uh, your, de- your deck was ordered. Yeah. Well, not quite, but it was uh, It was known. Nice. Um, yeah, it was very cool. I think I'm going to grab Explosive Welcome here. Yeah. Got the, got the late Prismari campus. And every time I see to... Explosive Welcome, it just baffles me that it has a single red in its casting cost. Yeah, it seems... Yeah. It's so splashable and also, so like, to be is a two for one. Yeah. That um, ramps. Well, not ramps. I guess pays for it. And yeah, in, in fact, in that same game that I. Ooh. Okay. Pop quiz is the first learn card. Also, Arch is Arch. I don't know if this deck. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Arch. This was the. This was the. Uh, the progenitor of the. Uh, the overgrown gag in the intro uh, because. <laughs> Before uh, we were distracted by drafting. I know, right? It was so rude for this draft to start. I think I'm going to go Pop Quiz here. I do like Overgrown Arch, but I think for us, Pop Quiz is probably better. Yeah. This is incredible in Witherbloom, but I think I like Pop Quiz for what we're doing. Um, Yeah, over the weekend was the Arena Open, um, which was once again Sealed Deck, which was fantastic. I think I'll just grab another Pop Quiz. Yeah. I like the prof, but we'll the prof, get the prof, later. the groff, the prof and the groff. Yeah, and the um, yeah, yeah. Arena, arena, open, sealed over the weekend. Um, 
I managed to I managed to qualify for day two on my second attempt, and I did it with a uh, with an o- double overgrown arch, double blood researcher, with a bloom deck. Our friend here. It was uh, yeah, it was very sweet. Yeah, you, you've um, this is the second day two that you've done on the arena opens, or third. Uh, second. I, I've dated both of the sealed ones. Oh, man. See, look, I mean, it's only a matter of time before we're handed our much-awaited MPL invitations. Uh, it, it should be in the mail any day now. Yeah. Um, yeah, Masterpiece is a good one. I think so. Love a couple of 4-4s. Fine. Annihilation's fine, but yeah, I think I like Masterpiece. Really missing the, uh... The two summonings, Elemental and Fractal. Oh, hello. Ah. Oh, there's an Ignis inspiration. Ooh. How many <sighs> land cards we got already? Just one. That's... I think it's got to be Elemental summoning, especially if Red's our splash. This is yeah. just so important to have access to. That's Yeah, that's a good point. Oh, it hurts to pass. Ignis but it is removal. But... I'm doing it. We don't have if we already rem- had an elemental or fractal summoning, I would take Igneous Inspiration. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Berry. Berry. That's very oh, that's good. A, that's a very nice pickup at this stage. Mmm. Cool. So, pack one, pick one. Do you prefer Berry or Heated Debate? Um... That's a hard one. Yeah. I think probably heated debate. But then again, I don't know. It's, it's that's actually quite difficult to oh. make a call on. Wow, look at Hello, look at friends. us. We're wheeled that, all the way around. That should not wheel. This is an arch, not a wheel. Haha. <laughs> but they're both kind of round, so you know. Push it over. Watch it roll. Square. I love how it's like, oh, what what am I missing? Oh, nothing. Yeah, what's the what's Ooh. the collection in need of? Pigment Storm. Uh yeah, I suppose there's a chance we play Pigment Storm. Hey, that's, that's a light Pigment Storm as well. That's uh And there's the Oh, oh. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Very good. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, and there's an environmental sciences here. Oh, Pick the mythic, Samuel. I know we're taking body of research. I've been I've been really hoping to play with this. I haven't played with this card yet. Animate library That's in black border. Oh, I'd love to get a sciences. I don't think it'll wheel. Hey, you you never know. But anyway, we're we're taking we're taking our friend here. Body um, of research. For what it's worth, I don't think this is quite as good as it looks. But I'm, there's no way I'm passing a card this cool. Oh, I know. Like, I mean, six mana, six mana, like twenty twenty. That's got to be something, right? Yeah. Ooh, that's hello. pretty good. Fractal summoning. Get in my sideboard. <laughs> um. Ooh, storm kiln. Oh, cultivate. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't even see cultivate. Love cultivate. This this, this this pack's got some good stuff in it. Wrangler artist. Cultivate. Yeah, where, where are you at on the? Where are you at on the Wrangler these days? Ah, uh, like, I think the ooh, growth spiral, hmm. frost trickster, also subtraction. Ah, oh, it's probably subtraction, right? Oh, there's a subtraction here. What have we got? Just the two pop quizzes. Just... Oh, and the arch. Yeah, I think so. Hmm, is subtraction better than frost trickster? We've only got five creatures at the moment. Oh, I suppose we've got a couple of fractal makers. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I mean... I'm going to grab the frost structure. I think that's close. Yeah. Yeah. This might be this might be pick of the week. Let us let us know in the comments what you would take here. It's going to be Great. really embarrassing if it's not pick of the week. Oh, but pledge Mage, slam it in there. Don't even think about it. No Easy questions. Pledge mage. Easy Pledge Mage. Get in the deck. Not in the sideboard. Oh wow, devouring tendrils. Yes, please. All right, we we definitely found the right seat. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we got got pretty hooked up in packs uh, packs one and three. God, look at this pack. Jeez. 
It's got a lot of stuff. And there's okay. Well, we got the Drake. Needle thorn Drake. Do we care about the boots think, in this I deck? I don't think we do, bit. right? No, we're like a six creature deck. Oh, well, what if we deck. take our twenty twenty to the skies, or like our thirty thirty to the skies? I mean, that's <laughs> that's not unreasonable, actually. That's kind <laughs> of a fair point. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'll. On a troll, Eureka moment. I mean, take another campus. I think I like the campus. Yeah, this pairs nicely with our uh, with our overgrown arch, but that's about it. Yeah, that's more of a a wither bloom card. Hey, look, there's another one. There's another one. I think I'll just grab another needle thorn drake there. Yep. Where are you at on the the needle thorn drake? I think it's Ooh, sort this, of this pairs nicely with. The, oh, uh... give the thirty. 30. I keep throwing out numbers. I really have no idea how big this thing is going to be. I like, think it'd normally be about a 25 25. That sounds about right. But, um. Yeah. I mean. Hey, yeah, there you go. You get to uh, add to the collection. There we go. A card I didn't have. So well, rare have these days. Off. Bonnie and Research. Um, oh, there's the boots. I guess we got the boots now. Yes. Uh... I mean, I don't think we're going to play any of those cards. I've uh, I've come up on the Biblioplex assistant. Oh yeah. Oh my god! Look at our top end. <laughs> it's very it's very beefy. Ooh. Teach by example. Oh man, teach by example body of research. Could you imagine? Hell yeah. Oh. That would be very cool. It only takes green, 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 blue, 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 blue. That's Whoa. that's no worries. Wow, that is that's the nice. latest pillar drop warden ever. That might make the deck, actually. Alrighty, what have we got? Well, we got three... it seems like three or four cuts. Um... Which could be like like assistant curate something. Yeah, curate can probably get out. What about the arch? Really Do we care about the deck? arch? Uh I think no, I like the arch. Um, we're a little low on removal again, aren't we? We've really just got, like, Frost Trickster for Tempo, Berry, and Explosive Welcome. There's a Pigment Storm in the board. Oh, yeah, I wonder if that gets in, actually. Can we play a double red card? Um, probably with Cultivate and all that, all that kind of stuff going on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. Trying to play a double red card in our uh, our body of research deck. Yeah, I mean anything's possible in, you know, Strixhaven. I think I've learned that yeah. over the course of this format is that you can really just sort of do anything if you really want to. Uh, I guess wormhole serpent body of research is a is a combo. That is a combo. Uh, I think the teach can probably get out. Oh, but the the think of the think of the <laughs> highlight reel, Sam. <laughs> think of the highlight reel. <laughs> what about Overgrown Arch? It's gonna sit there and gain us life, and what stabilize our, that? Yeah, it's gonna sit there and block their three power creature while gaining a life per turn, and then when we're done with it, it turns into a fractal. That's boring. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want two twenty five twenty fives. I want to pay eight mana, and I want to make two. I want to put fifty power onto the battlefield. <laughs> but if yeah, but if you want to get it out, I mean yeah, like be be my yeah, be my guest. I don't think this is the deck for it. Oh, I've got to varying tendrils for removal. That does help actually. Oh well, break yeah, get Pigment Storm back out of here, and let's get it back in. Let's make some. Let's make some twenty five twenty fives. Is that it? Is that the cut you reckon? I, cut I, I, I don't know. <laughs> um, because the the trouble is, is it the like, second invocation? Do we need two? Uh, 
Probably not. I think I'm going to cut Pigment Storm. Because just... we'll, we'll get to a really awkward situation where we've got one mountain in play or like a Prismari campus in play. No, call it a mountain. We've got a mountain in play and cultivate. Do we then go get the second red so that we can cast Pigment Storm or something that actually lets us cast Body of Research? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think the, the slimmer we make the red splash, the uh, the happier we'll be. So I think we cut this down to just one Montagna and go up. up. Oh, we should definitely play 18 lands in this deck as well. What am I yeah, with that, with that many eight drops, I think it's... Uh... Yeah. Um, how many lands are we running right now? I think this is 17. Yeah. Go down the second Eureka moment? Or the second Invocation? Or the Pillar Drop Warden? I don't know. Maybe one of the Needle Thorn Drakes? That seems sort of fairly medium in the game plan. I think our, I think, but I think our game plan is going to be play out over Grenache and Needlethorn Drake to just fend them off early because we don't have much removal that can. Also, these are real nice with ten Javarian tendrils. That is that um, is true. That's a good point. Yeah, I think I think I like cutting a Eureka moment and going up a an island. Uh, what are we at? Yeah, that looks like forty cards. Yeah. So what do we got? We got six, seven, eight, nine blue, eight, nine green. Three red? That's good numbers. It is good numbers. I And, you know, we're in Quandrix, so it's the, the place to be if we're, you know, going to talk about numbers. Now, um, this is the part of so, the draft where we remember the lessons that we're putting next to the deck so that we can take a photo of them. I have to, I have to confess to the dear audience, on day two... Of the arena open. I did the thing. <laughs> I, I left my lessons in. <laughs> <laughs> and some would have said that you've learnt your lesson, but you really haven't. I really, really haven't. Oh, come on. I'm trying to take a screenshot. Bookworm really go. wants to get in, in the photo. He's photobombing, photobombing it. Yeah, I've taken what I'm playing on my own. I've taken to singing until, like, for the entire time that the... Uh, that the lessons are in my deck and I don't stop singing until I take them out again. <laughs> the, the lengths, the lengths you gotta go to. It's so bad. I just... Sturdy <laughs> turd! <laughs> sturdy Adrian, turd. Adrian, we've got our work cut out for us. The sturdy turd. I mean, we've got to sort of like, you know, apply quite a lot of force to get, get rid of the sturdy turd. Gotta break out the poop knife. <laughs> the, the, what, the what? Oh, do you not know this story? I don't. Oh man, this is like, this is uh, this is like peak Reddit. Um, <laughs> That's the what? Okay, so I'm gonna try and try and try and tell this story as best I can off the top of my head. So this guy had a family with a. Uh, a genetic predisposition to dropping very sturdy turds. <laughs> so much so that it would interfere with the plumbing of their domicile. Oh, no. Oh, you're late. It pains me that I can see where this is going. Also, they got no value out of their frost so that's, that's, uh... Yeah, that's, that's a win. Um, uh, yeah, and so hanging on the wall, uh, between their bathrooms. Ooh, that's cooly dooly. I think that probably needs to get devouring tendrils. Also, they're missing a color by the looks of it. Or they're just mono blue. Possible. Um, can we cultivate okay, so and think... tendrils? Cultivate and tendrils. Uh, do you mean immersion sequence and tendrils? No, I mean cultivate and... Oh, cultivate puts it in tapped, right? Yeah. Emergent sequence. So, emergent it... sequence for an island. Tendrils down the emeritus. Attack for four. Sounds good. 
Okay, so yeah, so domicile, uh, sturdy turds. Yeah. Um. So yeah, there was, uh, hanging from a nail between their uh, their bathroom was a rusty old kitchen knife. Oh, that's that's not nice. That was, that was called their poop knife. <laughs> Oh, no. That existed for the sole purpose of uh, attacking the sturdy turds. <laughs> Trying to make it less sturdy. And so this guy went for dinner at his mate's place. And all the mates were um, having pizza, gathered around the TV, watching a movie. And our, uh, our protagonist gets up and goes to the bathroom. And lays down his sturdy turd and looks around. <laughs> lays it down. And he, he says, where's the poop knife? I can't, <laughs> I can't see the poop knife. <laughs> so he opens up the door, leans out, and calls for his mate. Uh, he's, he's been exposed to the outside world where there are no poop knives. And he had no idea. I had no idea that this was just a... A, a, a peculiarity of his family and he calls out to his mate and I, I'm just going to put on my most Ocker accent because I think it makes it the funniest Oh mate, where's your poop knife? <laughs> mate comes running and says, my what? <laughs> and uh, so I think I'm just going to lay a large invocation here and then and swing for five. Yeah. um and our protagonist is a little confused at this point, but explains his need for the, to his mate. For the poop knife. Who loses it laughing and runs to relay the story to everybody else in the house at that point. <laughs> which is which is like worst case nightmare scenario for anyone who's like looking for a poop knife. Right. <laughs> Is like, man, I hope nobody goes and runs and talks about the poop knife. <laughs> really like to keep this on the down low. What is this? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. They traded my 5-5 five five for a 4-4. Four four. Um, yeah, and uh, this, this story got posted to Reddit and has just like gone down in history. You'll, you'll see a lot of just references all over Reddit to, uh, to the poop knife. The poop knife. I had no idea. That's hilarious. It was, yeah, very, very funny. Um, um yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, yeah. Bames Nond? No, no, Bame, no, Bame, get out of here, Bames Nond. <laughs> get out. Don't need you. <laughs> Um, um, okay, so thoughts. We can attack with the 6-6 six, six and hope they go for a double block and blow them out with Barry. That's a good one. Or we just bury the Pledge Mage and get in with the 6-6 six, six and the 4-4, four, four, except the double block here. I like the, the ambitious blow them out attempt. Okay. I also like just not needing to spend our mana on Barry this turn. We can just like play a Wormhole Serpent or something. Yes. What do you got? Oh man! I think that's the turd. first time I've had a re-sculpt cast on one of my creatures. Turd knife. <laughs> um, I wonder if they. I wonder if they named themselves after re-sculpt. <laughs> this this card is a little bit of one of those. A bit of a turd knife. Wow, they're just gonna eat it, or are they gonna? Have they got? Wow, just the chump. All right. Okay. Um, some so whole weapon. Yeah, so I could go cultivate plus Eureka moment, but I like just developing the board. Also, we can just start making the six. Yeah, just make them. Not that we even that. need to on this board. No, I think we're doing okay. Yeah, it seems good. What are your thoughts on this deck? Do you reckon this is a a good good Quandrix deck or a good Teamer deck? Yeah, I think we might actually be onto something. I think uh, if we can, if we can sort of like get that good play pattern of early ramp, and then you just like, slam, 
slam he oh they didn't learn for that did they nope that was straight out of the main deck nice 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 i can't imagine what kind of moron would have a lesson in their main that deck. It, you know <sighs> it's really the stupidest thing i've ever heard and it's, it's got to be the, the stupidest people in our society that have come up with such a thing. Wow, they're really going for it. I mean, just take it? Because, like, yeah, our crackback so. is just wild. 10, 15, too short of lethal. Yeah. I remember the first time I heard of the term crackback. And I thought it was just the most hilarious. Because it makes sense, but it's 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 it rhymes and it's perfect. It's it's the perfect. Wow, they go for nothing. Interesting. So I wonder if they've got a berry. They could have a berry. Oh, they might bury the six be, six. That would be very annoying. <laughs> it would. It would. So be. I wonder if we attack with everything but the six six. Just to be like, hey, gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's like that. actually... And the 6-6 six, six blocks their 5-5. Five, five. That's actually, yeah, you're... That's, you know, I like... If it was a lethal attack, I think I might go for it, but I think as is. I go like this. I like I like the cut of your your jib. I'm, uh, I'm not a crane. <laughs> I don't have a jib. You don't have a jib? Wait. Is a jib on a Wait. boat? Jib's on a boat, right? That's a it's a nautical turn of phrase, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken. I suppose is the well like at least on a crane the jib is the the bit on the end. Could be. Wow, they're really so having is, a think. The old is sturdy the same thing true of here. a is the same thing true of a, a sail? That's true. Listen to us, like, knowledgeable folks talking about stuff that we clearly know a lot about. Yeah, while while our opponent really has a think about whether we should go to the beginning of combat or not. Yeah. So, like, I'd always thought of a jib at, on, a, on a human. Now that I think about it, it might have a, a fairly not appropriate for draft punks meaning. But I'd always, <laughs> I'd always, I'd always thought of it as, as, uh, as your jaw. Oh! So like I I like the cut of your jaw. It's like I like what you're saying. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I've never I've never quite thought of it about it in, in those terms. Wow, they really just maybe they go on getting some lasagna. Could be. Yeah. Oh, lasagna draft. Yeah, I think we're looking at a bit of a lasagna situation here. Yeah. So I think I'm just gonna hold up Eureka moment and bury. Yeah, I like that. Which what? Hang on. Which we have to hit a land to make. Oh, as in like hold up one or the other. Oh right. Well, if we hit if we hit a land off Eureka moment, we yeah, can we bury. Could do both. So like how uh, how lucky are we feeling? Oh, we have to also hit blue. <laughs> we have to hit blue. Oh, okay. Now I'm liking it a bit less. <laughs> <laughs> um. So sturdy turd is either currently preoccupied with some usage of the poop knife. <laughs> or this is another lasagna draft situation I wonder if the title of this video if this conversation continues the title of the video is just going to end up being poop, poop Knife Quandrix Poop Knife Quandrix that's that that's that uh, that that clickbait that people have come to know and love from the draft bugs it's in my head now I'm not going to be able to get out of it <laughs> Eureka I'm moment. Just gonna, I think that is Eureka moment. Yeah, no need to bury anything. Hey! We coulda. We coulda done it. Think of the possibilities. Ooh, oh, that's explosive. That's pretty good. Uh, so we've got five, six, seven, eight, not including the creature land. So I guess we just... We just jam it, right? We just jam it in. Attack with everything because they... then they take at least two well they take at least five and then we blast them yeah just hope they don't have berry or just make the six six unblockable can you make two things unblockable oh i can actually that's pretty good is that e mm -hmm. uh, hang on is that even good now that i'm thinking about it 
Well, it's like, do we like to what extent do we want to play around Barry, or do we just blast them now? Because if they like, if we just blast a pledge mage three to the face, and then we attack. That's like game over. Oh yeah, that puts them to five, and then if they bury the six six and block the four four, they're still dead. Yeah, I and like they'll that. gain one off of the. Oh, they'll go to one. <laughs> oh, they will go to one actually. Ooh, I could make... No, I don't think I want to, though. Could... I could activate the Wormhole Serpent using the Explosive Welcome Mana. Um... But I don't think I should do that. Yeah. I'm I I'm now quite nervous. Or do they just realize they're dead? Okay, that'll do. Alright. Do lots of thinking. Doesn't matter in the end. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Sturdy turd. Sturdy Ex turd down. Explosive welcome. Explosive Flush. diarrhea. <laughs> Those those turds aren't so sturdy. <laughs> Some decidedly unsturdy turds. <laughs> The depths that our humour has fallen to. <laughs> okay, this seems great, actually. I love this. This does. This seems nice. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, I, wonder, I wonder if Kona Kona means sturdy turd. In it's just turkey. some language that we don't understand. Could could, could be. Um, yeah, so, welcome to the drop. I mean, you know, what you see is what you get. It's, it's good jokes and even better drafting. Something, something deadly serious drafting. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Well, okay, so they're doing Prismari things over there. Yeah, I, uh, I checked in on a uh, the bio on our YouTube page. Oh uh, yeah. Like in our in our about section. Oh, isn't it just like a, a like a, a single word or something? Well, we we just put like a placeholder in there when we set up the channel in the first place. But yeah, it said. Uh, we do draft and make a good joke. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta keep it. We gotta keep it like that. It's perfect. I've I si since changed it to, no! to this drafting. <laughs> but we, that's, that's all the channel is, is we, we do draft and we make a joke. It's true. Like what, where's the lie? Uh, grab an element or something? Yeah. yeah. Man, we are. We've come out of Nothing. the gates flying compared to them. Oh, uh, yeah, it's because we played a prospect. So. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Samuel Ma. <laughs> I'm here all week, folks. <laughs> well, kind of. I'm here for the next hour and a half ish. Yeah, here for the next. Well, here for the rest of the video once a yeah. week. But hey, if you want if you want more of this this quality humor, at calm underscore mirror, that's where to find me. That is where you'll find him. Um, he will be there lurking, secretly, like a. Would you like to bury my frost trickster? Like a, like a. Or hated to bait it. A moose. Ooh, okay, yeah, I'm alright with that. Oh, and they get the they get the counter off of uh, Brismari Apprentice. That's pretty nice. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Um, um, time for a four four. Land pigment storm wouldn't be nice. That would be unfortunate. Tezzeret's gambit Tezzeret. with the proliferate. Oh, that's pretty sweet. 
Look at that. Okay. I think we've got this berry in hand. Uh-huh. Take four here. I mean, it, it's a race we're winning. Yep. Thanks to this over. Oh, you, you wanted explosive. To, you wanted to cut the overthrow arch. I know. Like, I, I wanted to cut it because it's like, it's not as, like, outrageously exciting as the idea of copying body of, like, body of research. That's fair. Yeah, I get that. Hey, what are we, What now? We've got a death toucher. And a berry. Like, what... Where if is... only you had a creature that became unblockable. We're, don't, we don't talk about that. They haven't, maybe they've forgotten as well. Maybe they just get, like, like me, they have become blinded by the counters. Hey, that's no, I was using that. That's no good. Uh, get a swing, we're gonna put, a, put it back. Don't want it. Back nice. it goes. Land off the top would be real nice. Don't pick it. Uh, no, we're getting a Frostrixer off the top, I'm afraid to tell you. Oh. <laughs> I'm... I make good draft and joke good. <laughs> that's what we do. Well, that's what I do, at least. We're even now. You you put the lessons in the main deck, and I, and I don't look at the screen. <laughs> You've got one job. <laughs> yeah, I've got one job, and that's look at the screen and be vaguely entertaining. And I failed at I both. <laughs> Man, it really does just gain us a life every turn, huh? Pretty good. Oh, come on. Can we have a land, please? Yeah. I mean, you can just attack, right? Like, if we trade with the 3-1 that they paid 4 mana for, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Yeah, me too. And like, I feel like we're the beat down. Like, I feel like we're the beat down. Like, you know when you get that feeling? Yeah. That you're the beat down. Like you, that. you put your you put your hand to the the table and you're like, ah, oh, I think I'm the beat down. Do we? I think we cycle this on end step, right? Just because we need, we have a mighty need for for mana sources. Yeah. Look at them go. Spending their three mana removal spells on our one one death touch. I mean it's the it's it does ew, oh, okay. That's a problem. Okay. Yeah, I'm kinda with you on the whole Ah, uh, but if we draw a land we're gonna feel sad. But even then, we're still only even at then. Six. It like helps us cast explosive. Welcome. Yeah. Okay. You've um you've talked me into it. There's the prisma apprentice. As expected. All right, they've got a bit of an air force now. Aerialist. Yeah, and there's going to be a shame with the sort of whole ward thing when we get explosive. Welcome. Like, alternatively, I could pitch this for our own expanded anatomy and chocolate. Oh, no, because they've got the Kelpie guide now. Do they have it online? Yeah, yeah they do too. Yeah. Make a treasure token. It's going to be pretty hard for Explosive Welcome to take out that area list as well. Yeah, we're going to need a lot of mana. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, there it is. And, uh, okay. Big, make, big, make. big boys. Make six, six. Cost of the turn. There, there, I reckon there's a world. Oh, they didn't use the Kelpie guide. I reckon there's a world where we could have faint attacked with the false trickster. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's a really good draw. Pretty good. Uh oh, I think we're in danger. We got a we got a six six. We got nothing to worry about. We'll draw a land. We'll point we'll point damage at their face and their like blocker, and we'll win the game. Well, maybe not. 
Man, that's a that's double igneous inspiration. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, their deck looks nice. Tezzeret's Gambit. Tezzeret's Gambit. Double. Debate, fairy. Uh. Hey, just think. We're going to gain... We're going to gain a life. <laughs> like, that's that's exciting. I'm excited by that. It does at least shade to turn off that clock, actually. Plays a land. Go on, use Kelpie to untap. Ooh, Serpent is okay. actually fairly relevant. Or do we just keep putting putting six sixes on the board? Yeah, I don't think the Wormhole Serpent helps us here. Yeah. Because I think our game plan is hit them for six and then dome them for five. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, and when we've got two six sixes, are they just gonna exile one next turn to draw us a card? Maybe. Ooh. Boo. I don't think we're gonna win. Oh. Oh. Okay. Maybe we will. All right. Land off the top, please. Now we're just dead on board. Pocano lost DOS. Um, oh, yeah, we're dead. Ah, oh, damn. Yeah. And there was okay. the land. Good beats. Yeah, yeah, we would have got there. All right, their deck was sweet. No. Yeah, they. No complaints losing to that one. Yeah, they played a lot of removal spells. We also draw a lot of expensive cards, which is probably what we get for drafting a deck like this. It's true, but like, with. With the audience as my witness, we will cast Body of Research. And we will slap them with a 25 25. It better happen. Color! Oh. They spelt it wrong, though. Yeah, it's. They've. You know. It's. Uh, um, I guess it's a question now of what color, though. And do we keep this hand? We're on the draw. I keep it on the draw. I mean, yeah. it could go really bad because, like, we just hey, hey. Now, do we make a treasure on turn two? Ooh. I think, I think there's your answer. Mono green versus mono blue. Ah, Quandrix. We see your servant and raise you treasure. Okay, lands okay. lands off the top is nice. Yeah. Oh, nice. that's good. Um, go get a um, a summoning. Well, yeah. I mean, we got three, but I mean elemental. I always use summoning as a shorthand for the one that I'm, like, mean, but I know. I know, right, yeah. And I'm just like, oh, yeah, go get summoning. Which one? Oh, you know, the one that I want. Okay. Uh, zoom in. All right, we are. Hopefully they don't. Ooh. That's not bad. I think I'm going to play that, actually. Play it. Take a hit. I might trade it for the servant, actually. Really? I kind of just want to live to start dropping fatties. Right, the way we lose this game is we take a hit for a lot here. Because, like, it's going to be two turns until this pledge mage. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right, even better. I didn't want to make that trade. Yeah, very surprised they didn't offer that. Yeah, I, I would offer that all day long. Yeah. Um, oh, wow, that's just better. That's pretty good. So do we go the summoning, or do we start sequencing? Yeah, I think I like summoning. Or do we eureka moment to try and hit the land to then go sequence? Could do that. Because that'll get us up to what? Like... Eight? That's a bookworm next turn if we can do that. But if we don't, we'll feel pretty sad. Yeah. Oh, also, what's this all about? What 
what is that? That's a, that's a good question, Sam. What, what is this? I wonder if they've got a berry and that's why they didn't attack with the spring main servant. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's get lucky. I mean, we also grow the, the pledge mage, so, you know. That's a, that's a thing. That's a, that's a consolation prize. No negate would be great. No negate, great, great, no negate. Hey, there's the nice. land. There's nice. the this land. This is going to be a 3-3 three, three emergent sequence as well. Which is as big as they come most of the time in this format. Yeah, in limited at least, yeah. That's got to be on the on the Strixhaven bingo sheet, right? Make a make an emergent sequence token that's bigger than two two. Yeah. It's not easy. Like you basically got to either chain emergent sequence into another one, or go. Was it field field trip? Yeah, field trip cultivate quadrix command. Okay. I uh, guess we grab Montagna. Yep. It's a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, we're going to take a massive hit next turn. Yeah, we are. I mean, Bookworm's going to do some work, though. Yeah. Yeah, we're really kind of leaning pretty hard on ye or Wormy Bookworm. I was not expecting Quandrix to come on. Oh, wow, we're on three. Or do we have to go wide here? Yeah, so option one is bookworm, which would put us to six. Or and do we, we go block like spring main servant take five? Which is dead. Mm -hmm. Which is dead. No, we gain three up to six. Oh, sorry. T take five to one. That's pretty dicey. It is. And it also loses to, uh, like... Counterspell uh, or Reject. Bits. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. So what if we go Pledge Mage, be... Pledge Mage, Drake? I kind of don't mind that. And then we've got the Quandrix Campus in there in case we need to trade off. Hey, okay. Ooh, okay, right. so... Decline to pay? Yeah. And then we got the Campus. I wonder if they've got another one. That would be suck. That would be bad. That would be a big suck. I think that would be dead. Yeah. It's off, Plant Eagle's dead. We've done... We're at Quandrix. Today's lesson is Draft Funk's Equals dead, yes or no? Alright, so we're dead to removal. We are dead to removal. Oh. I think we're, we're also now just well. dead. We've lost to re-sculpt? <laughs> lost to re-sculpt. Come on, play around Barry. That would be good. I mean, yeah. If we'd gone for the bookworm there, we would have lost. Okay, so that makes me feel good about my 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 magic playing abilities. I'm like, yes, I yeah. did it. Come on, play around, Barry. Come on, color. Yeah. What? Who? Who do you think you are? I am. What do you think you are? The the concept of color. Yeah, that's not even a good one. It's a bad concept. Because I guess the stakes are really high. No, no, no. Because, uh, like, if we did have Barry, we could have, like, blocked the 5-4, traded, traded. That sort of is bad. Ah, man, that sucks. Damn. What did we do wrong there? I thought we did okay. That Quandrix command really blew. Yeah, us that that was, I think, the backbreaker. Well, we're on the ropes. I think this deck is pretty good, but let's let's see how we do. 
Yeah, it's, we haven't had any of the really crazy fast ramp starts. Like, we're not turn six, like, eight dropping them. Yeah, I suppose we're not too heavy on the ramp, right? We've got Emergent Sequence and Eureka Moment. We don't have any, uh, we don't have any field trips. This is a good point. Tele tele oh no, we've got Cultivate as well, we've got Cultivate. Telepinu? Telepinu? This is... This is very serviceable, I feel. I like this hand, yeah, this yeah. is great. And the opponent goes first. So... Yeah. Yeah. We've faced two re-sculpts today. That's not what I expected when I, I fired up this draft. Yeah, and one re-sculpt for the win. Yeah. Yeah, those are those are words that don't often go in that order. Yeah, upgrade the pest into an elemental. Oh, there's Arch too. Arch as well. Okay. Time to ramp. I'm gonna grab my mountain. I like the idea of grabbing mountain. Okay. It's also a beat stick. It certainly is. I'm always really nervous having lands become creatures. I'm like, no, don't kill my land. Yeah. Um, I'm not attacking into an expel. So I think I just play Frost Trickster. I'll just play the Arch. Like, I'm, I don't even hate Arch Attack. I don't think I like Attack here. This looks like a very obvious expel. I think I'm just going to play the Frost Trickster. I mean... I mean, they'll get the land with Expel anyway. Yeah, but I don't want them to use their mana on their third turn, right? This now, like, forces them to use it on their fifth turn. Which makes things super awkward for them. Uh, now this is super awkward for Ah, oh, it's not really. It's a, it's a server. Okay, so... Telepinu. Telepin you. Yeah, yeah if, we'd, if we'd attacked with that mountain and they'd expelled it, that would, like, would have thrown off our whole turn. This is true, but think of, think of the two damage, Sam. Why won't anyone think of the two think damage? Think of the two damage. Double Spectre of the Fens. In Inspector Fen over here. Inspector of the Fens. Um, uh, make cool. so play a check. land, make the make the mountain unblockable, and then get them. <laughs> uh, you're, you're, you've got a very aggressive bent in this. In this. I want to hit them with the land. <laughs> Have you have you have you met our Lord and Lady Nissa who shakes the world? I have. Um I have I have had the world shook um to me in basically the entirety of uh the last standard season. And it you know what? Got a little old. Not gonna lie, Nissa, but like, you know, love you and everything, Nissa. You're doing great things for the environment. Really, you know, you're really bringing much needed life to the world. But the whole three threes thing, it's been done now. <laughs> um, um, if you so I guess we attack with six six and three five, I know they can double block, but I think I'd trade this for Allen Shield Mage. Yeah, yeah. I would, I would do that as well. Oh, I probably could have made itself unblockable, actually. Could it? Could it? That's a good point. Yeah. But I guess we don't, like, mind the trade. Like, we still have a 6-6. Six, six. still have a 2 threes that we're not attacking yeah. with. And then next... Next... Next time we get to explosively welcome them to our exciting draft channel where we make good draft and make a joke. <laughs> Uh, 
they attack with both spectres. Like, I kind of, like... Yep. Okay, well... Okie dokie. Time to explode. I guess... Time to explode. Time to explode all over them. <laughs> I guess I just explode all over both Inspector Fens. I mean, if you attack first and see if they go for the triple block. Um, cause then like, then, then they're in trouble. Or if they just take the six, they, they, they lose. I reckon they're just going to chump it though. Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess if they chump it, it doesn't really inform much, right? Like, they can chump it, we can still get what we wanted. Sure. Yeah. Okay. In with the 6-6, six, six, what are you going to do? Triple block or chump? Find out now. As Telepino decides. Triple block! Yes! Uh, look, at, look at you, Adrian. The big genius. I mean, you're not, like, if you've got the guts to draft Spectre of the Fens, you're not, you're not gonna just chump the 6-6. Six, six. Like, come on. Uh, uh, you're not a fan of the Spectre? Uh, oh, don't be beaming defiance. That would be something. I mean, even then, it's like... Oh, well, hey, you called it. Okay. Okay. Like, now you can just knock out... You can still get your two-for-one? I think I'm going to crack this, actually. Crack it now? Yeah. Oh, that was... Oh, I forgot that it's not a tap ability. Oh, it's yeah, so it's good. Oops. Was that intentional? I had already ordered blocks. Oh, yeah, okay, right. Yeah. Wow. Getting aggressive. They they stared us down and were like, no, I'm the beat down. Not you. Yeah. They just make the uh, biggest fractal they've ever seen. So we will make a 7-7? Seven, seven? We can make a can make an 8-8? Eight, eight? Three, six, seven? Oh, seven, yeah. Frost Trickster doesn't tap for mana, unfortunately. This is a fact. Telepin, telepin you. Yeah, I wonder if I play that too greedy with the, uh... The explosive diarrhea. With the explosive diarrhea. I'm always too greedy with my explosive diarrhea. <laughs> That's why you gotta get the poop knife out. <laughs> <laughs> Which is like, I guess, like, that's akin to like. Alright, now we're in trouble. Well. No, not in trouble. <laughs> oh, and we get the Drake? Yeah, nice. Cool. This is good. This is good until they draw removal again. Yeah. Okay, there's the biblio, the biblio blacks. Oh, the, okay. The, the biblio blacks. Yeah, biblioplex assistant is not bad. It's possible we should be running it. Just put your big, your big fancy instant of sorcery yeah, just, on top of your deck. Just put leyline invocation or explosive welcome back on top. Okay. Pop oh, that's pretty is good. good. Uh, I guess we do that first. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. That's very relevant. <sighs> okay, so I guess we... Schwang with the 9-9? Nine -nine? Um... Is Tendrils an instant or a sorcery? As a sorcery. Yeah. Shouldn't I chump with Pilgrim? 
Yeah. And then, and then like summoning? I think so, yeah. Cause they got a lot of flyers, but like all they can really do is exile the nine nine, because that's the big thing that's causing them problems. Unless they decide to go aggro and kill the needle thorn drake. But I don't think they're gonna do that. They're gonna get aggro first. Yeah, I'll take that trade. Yeah. Trade, trade taken. Can we draw a body of research, please? Is that too much to ask? Yeah, we haven't even seen it. Yeah. Right, as expected. Goodbye. Goodbye welcome. welcome. There's another Spiritus. Can't cast it. Ooh, pillar drop oh, warden. There's, there's a way back in. It uh, also blocks all their flyers. Yeah, true. Swing so with I the could... Or do you just like, like, get something out of the way and then swing with the four four? Yeah, so I wonder if we want to just kill the owl and shield mage, and then probably just pass. Yeah. Maybe I don't even need to kill the owl and shield mage. Oh, you just play the pillar drop warden, or do you do you attack with the like? What happens if we attack with the four four? Well, if I. Like, if I kill the shield mage and attack with the 4-4, they can put the 3-2 and the 2-3 in front of it. Yeah, okay, and then that's Which set doesn't seem us. great, so I think I'm just going to play Pillar Drop. Should turn into a 9-9 next turn. Yeah. Uh, maybe I should get rid of Alan shield mage, actually, because if they... Oh, no, we've got two. Mm. Like what have they got in hand? What's that glowing? What 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 is that? They've got a spirit summon. They've got a spirit summoning and a pillar. Oh, pillar in the bin, right? Is. Yeah. Like what have we got in our bin that we could get back with Warden? Elaine. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, welcome would have been nice, but you can't have everything. Yeah. Activates. Yeah. All right. Gonna cast that or the three two. It's a chump blockers. Kind of wishing we had our wormhole serpent still. And it, unfortunately, it's not an instant or sorcery. No attacks. Okay. So, let's get back Leyline Invocation. Cast it. <laughs> And then... Throw this past the turn? Yeah! Uh, maybe I'm... I kill the Allen Shield Mage now. Can you... Oh, uh, yeah. Yep! Yep! Maybe I kill the Spectre. <sighs> I don't... I can just kind of sit back and keep activating it, and that doesn't nug us for three. This is true. We also gain two life off of it, for what it's worth. Yeah. I'm just like wondering, like, I'm just wondering if we even need to use this, right? Because if they, like, untap it and play Shadrix Silver Claw, I'm going to feel a bit silly. Yeah, okay. I think yeah, I'm going to hold let's, it. Let's play it cool. Yeah. Like, how cool, good. cool, honey bunny. How good can the top of their library be? Like, really? Plain is kind of good. Alrighty. Take that trade. To me. It's like it's devouring tendrils but with extra with fewer steps. Okay, because nice, you want to pay a big, big that thing off hot flyer that's going to beat us. Watch, they're going to cast past caller. Oh, they don't have red. So that disregard that I just said that. Pillar drop rescuer picks up CMC 311. Red summoning nothing. Ooh. Six. So they could take down the 10 10. Um, not if you kill something with tendrils. Yeah. Uh, no, they could. It would trade for their whole board. Oh, no. Yeah. If I kill the 3 2. Yeah. I reckon they're just in perpetual chump with the, the pilgrim. 
mode, though. Well, if you attack with the 4-4 four, four and the 10-10, ten, ten, their life becomes sad, I think. And then we can we can scry with the campers. Yeah, okay, so that's tendrils. If your tendrils are through. Spectre. Oh, okay. Because then I can attack with everything, actually. Oh, right. That's a good point. They Game didn't two. activate it in response because they want to activate the pilgrim, sure. And then we get to turn the board sideways. We fear no crack back. So assume they put pilgrim there. Jump, trade, trade with mountain. Double block with uh, double block the elemental. Double block the elemental is kind of dubious. Mm. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Yeah. That seems wrong. Yeah. Cool. We're okay with this. Board. Board clear. Campus, we've got a scry incoming. Because now they've devoted nine mana a turn to playing their 2 1. Yeah, if they want to not chump block with the high quality card that they might play. Yeah. Granted, the 2 1 helps pay for itself gradually, but we have all of this mana available to spend. That's true. Why is it Killian? Killian's a good one. Okay. Has not... Has has left up exactly six for Pilgrim. Ooh! Ooh. Is a good one. Nice. Cool, so let's swang. Jump. This is the kind of board state we were, we've been building towards. Would you like two four fours? What do you think of that? Looks like a masterpiece to me. Yeah, chump, chump block this. <laughs> yeah, Killian on chump block duty is not where you want to be. No, I mean it'll gain. It's the chump block that gains two life. Yes. But um. Okay, yeah. Cult of Eight. Well, I guess there's a world where we probably should have upkeep scryed. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. All right. Oh, that's this is looking grim. It's me. More lands, please. So we can cast more of the things. Man, it's a bit of a grind fest, this one. Yeah. I think I'll hold the land. My next learn, I might want to lose it away. Hold the land. Land isn't always down, 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 on down. time. Yeah! Telepinu. See you later. Alright. So, what, what? up. 4 2. We're still on the ropes. No, we I still think that's got like a. 2 2. We're 2 2? 2 2. Three, two? Three two? I thought we were four two. No, we haven't played that much magic, have we? No, I don't think so. Two two. 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 We're in the bear the bear bracket. The bear bracket. We gotta we gotta win though. That's like our thing now. Yes, correct. Like we can't do we any. We gotta make it all the way from a squire to a thunderblast elemental. I think it's just called okay. Thunderblast. Is it just Thunderblast? I believe it is just Thunderblast. That was close. Um, also known as the only Shadow Moor rare I ever opened, because I opened ex exactly one pack of Shadow Moor. Oh, really? Yep, and I got and I got Thunderblast. Was that when when Shadow Moor was the the latest set, or did you acquire it more recently? No, it was back in two thousand and ten. So it was it was not. <laughs> Look at Hello. This number. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's a big number. Oh, like okay, so we've seen the card. Oh, and there's emergent sequence. So this time I don't think I can amount. No, we do we do not need it. We need 
go. I think I got the forest this time. Yep. Oh yeah, of course we've got red sources already. Um. Never mind me being a doofus. Yeah, Shadowmoor or even title, whichever one Thunderblast was in. Um, okay. Was not the just, most recent oh, set, but it was still sort of here. in print, so it was a regular priced booster pack. Yeah, land. Grab an elemental. Oh, this is looking good. It is. We just gotta keep making those land drops. Yeah, that's it. I wonder if we're supposed to play 29 lands in this deck. 29? 29, you heard me. I, I was looking at body of research. <laughs> 20, 29 lands. Okay, well, I'm glad they didn't get expanded anatomy. That one would have been really scary. We're also, um, we're on track. We, yeah, in fact. We're going to do it. In fact, we're going to do it next turn. We're going to do it next turn. Use your Don't removal believe. spell on this, please. Use it on the 4 4. Yeah. Okay. Proc. Desperate okay. for lands by the looks of things. Double top is good. Plays a land. Yep. Okay. You're not going to like it, but hear me out. I think we play Leyline Invocation here. Just, to, just like, we just go, we just go up the threat, the threat scale. Yeah. Right, we just like bait out the removal with a six. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm totally on. I love, I love sort of ratcheting up the tension on them. Okay, cool. So they're like, ooh, okay, here's a six six. Ooh, got to deal with it. And then Man, like, emergent oh. secrets has been incredible. It's a good one. It's 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 a ramp spell. It's rampant growth. But it makes a creature. Yeah, I think it's it's more like Paradise Druid than. Ugh. Ooh. It's a scary one. Oh, we keep hitting the land. It's good. Um. So let's go. Go a swing in. Yeah. With the four four and the six six. Oh, probably not. I don't, I wouldn't attack with the two two. But we're definitely on the front foot, and they're chumping. Yeah. So that's something. Yeah, it's because all their chumps turn into three. And they draw a card. That's pretty good. Um. So options. We can just slam the body. The body. The body <laughs> board. Um. Or do we go pledge mage needle thorn? Pop. I was thinking pledge mage pop quiz. Pledge mage pop quiz. We can't do all three? No, we can't do all three. Uh, maybe we just put the body down. Let the body hit the board? Yeah, let the body hit the board. Um, but I do kind of like where you're going with the pledge mage thing. Yeah, let's do that. Like we just keep keep putting 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 the screws to. All hands, cool. Oh well we're gonna cast a bookworm next turn. Or we're gonna kind of funny the... if we just like bypass this because we were too afraid of it being removed and we just crush them with everything else. Yeah, we'll let the bodies hit the board. I'm sorry, dear viewers. I know you want to see the body of research at the board, but I don't want to make a 24-24 to have it get um, uh, mage hunters onslaughted the next turn. Yeah, well, the bodies are hitting the. I think. Do you re do you think the time has come? <sighs> I kind of like bookworm though. I kind of like Bookworm as well, yeah. Um, so I guess we just attack with all? Attack oh with, no, not the, not the land. Attack with not the land, and then we we Bookworm them. We book them. I mean, I they so. do get to draw Bookworm cards is. and make three twos. But we've sort uh, of... No card drawing, but making three twos, yes. Oh, when when do they draw cards? They draw a card because this had a plus one plus one counter. Oh right. Jump, jump. Don't, like die on the crack back. Yeah. So they've got nine power plus two from this is eleven. So we. Oh no, we're about to gain three. About to gain three with our eight mana bookworm. It's also got trample, which is extremely. Rare. Yeah, I think that's why it's the why it's the play here. It's also bookworm. 
Correct. All right. Uh, oh, this is not for each creature. This is... Oh, that's a bit sad. Hey. This only happens once per combat. They didn't spend it on the body of research. The, the gates are now open for body of research. Correct. Yeah. 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 Oh, wow. Really keen on it. Nope, nope. Nope, oh, yep. Wow. What? You can't attack like that. I will kill you. <laughs> I might kill you anyway. Okay, so I think we make a 2121. Um, yeah. Um, play the. Um, yeah, no, that's correct. Yeah. And then we play the Drake? No, I can't, because. Oh, yeah, this is a forest, right? Yeah. No, because I'm using all my blue. Yeah, but it makes blue. Oh, no, no, no it only forest. generates green. Yeah, but it is yeah. blue. The color of it is blue and green. Correct, yeah. But we can play the, the arch, I guess. Yeah. Here, here's our 2121. Blackjack. Kaching. So, yeah, if I attack with. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a 21 21. All right. So, yeah, if I attack with everyone, they chump 6 6, chump pledge mage. Okay, so I shouldn't attack with 2 2, I don't think. Well, if they. Oh, yeah, no, if, I should. If I should. any of their blocks involve the 2 2, they die. Yeah, yeah. I'm just thinking if I wanted it to cast the arch, but I can cast the arch anyway. I haven't played my land yet. Yeah. And we also have a 21 21. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Chump, chump is good. Fractal, uh, inkling gets created. Make an orange. What? So you've got what six, now? seven, eight. So if you can produce five more power, we will die. Five more power and attack with it this turn. Yeah, yeah. So there needs to be like beaming defiance. Oh, what? Hey, well, you called it too. That's, but I played around it so hard. <laughs> I think they're dead. I like. I think they're kind of dead anyway. Like I also what we uh, dead, yeah. what we said has come to pass. But hey, they they um you know they spent the mana removing all the bombs and not the creatures that killed them. Ah, see, that's how you win. That's how you get them. Spend all that time. Block. Gonna give something life link and then some speed somehow. Okay. Okay. Got him. Yeah, that's the that's the plan for our removal free deck. Is instead of killing your creatures with removal, we will kill them with chump blocks. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. We're still. We finally got to cast a twenty-one twenty-one. We did. It got removed. It sat there. It looked pretty. It died. It it died. It came. It served. It went. Yep. Um. But that's that. I feel like that's only just a taste. We've got we've got we've got greater and bigger places to go from here. Oh, agreed. All right, I'm digging this deck. This one's cool. Oh, agreed. I'm a I'm a fan. Um, all we got to do is just keep not losing, so we can play it more. Yeah, I think our two weaknesses are probably going to be early aggression and flyers. Yeah, we don't have a lot of cheap removal. We have, yeah. like, one removal spell that's dependent on creatures, and we also have, like, eight drops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, soul bad guy. Soul bad guy. Ooh. Well, speaking of early drops and eight drops. I like this, yeah. That does all right. Do we fetch up the mountain? Uh, yeah, probably. Or an island. The reason I'm hesitant to fetch the mountain oh. is it means I can't cultivate for it later. But I mean... Yeah. I mean... Which one? Okay, well now we get it. Get a mountain. Get a mountain. There it is. 
the tutu. We haven't seen Quandrix Apprentice either. Have not seen Quandrix Apprentice at all. Um, Sedmore Witch is a strong one. That's, uh, that's aggressive. Um... You could... Would we trade a land for a Sedgemore Witch? Because you could show them that trade, and they probably won't take it. Yeah, but I think I just played Needlethorn Drake over Grenache. Yeah, okay, that's a good point. So we can double block. But they will also make a lot of... Meh! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no! we've been humiliated. Uh, oh, please. Yeah, if they take the bookworm, take, though, we just put it back. Take the bookworm. Take it. Take masterpiece. Take the bookworm. Yeah, look at how scary it is. Ooh, eight men are very scary. Ooh, life and cards. Put it, put it in the bin. Don't want to hear about it. Ah. Uh. Uh. Mm-hmm. Attack. No. They won't. Wait, uh, am I a serpent? Yeah. Yeah. Gain some life. And yeah. We've still got him on the double block. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. That's pretty good. They can unfortunately sort of attack into us with impunity now. Okay, well, we're on slowly on track for the bookworm. I guess I just get in for three. Just like make it unblockable and then swing. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of funny because, like, we win that race. <laughs> yeah. So, we're going to untap next turn. We're going to have seven mana. Which means if we don't draw some big spicy card, we're probably just going to scry. And or get in for three. I think we just take the two. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd take the two. I mean, we're gaining one off of the arch every turn, so we're, you know... Yeah. It's not a big problem. Pop qu okay, so, pop quiz is good. That is good. Ooh. That's also good. I think I grab a fractal summoning. Or do we... Yeah, okay. Is there a case for the anatomy here? Oh, but they're black white. They've probably got removal. Yeah, I think I'd rather diversify. Diversify our holdings. Exactly. Uh, and do we just we do just the same thing? Pass? No, I think I'd rather cast Eureka moment. Oh, good point. Um, I could attack with the wormhole. And just see if they put their board in front of it. See if they want to put the witch in front of it. Which would suck if they've got some sort of pump spell, but... Yeah. Yeah, it's probably not worth it. I don't think we need to be too aggro. We've also got the Drake. The Drake is... Um, Drake's doing good work. Sitting there menacingly. No, no, it's got flying in death. Oh, my bad. <laughs> So, I, <laughs> I had a look at the analytics on our last video. Um, and people, if you haven't watched Strixhaven 4, which is called Second Sun Trophy Run, go check it out. I think it's one of our best episodes. It's very today. good. Um, but I checked out the analytics too, and I watched I watched the uh, the go. where people dropped off. <laughs> it was right at the intro when you went, meh. <laughs> <laughs> Eureka moment? <laughs> Yeah. Is that is that what the kids would call cringe? It's not what I would call cringe. <laughs> not, neither would I. Also, to gain a life. I'm on it. I'm on it. They didn't attack with the squad. Okay, well, are we going to book them? 
I guess so. Yeah, because Fractal just gets bigger next turn. It's not like they got a counter spell. Game yeah. 3, draw a card. Oh, it's so got good. Hyper removal, but that's, oh, that's and right. tendrils. Damn, son. That's pretty good. How, how many drills? 10. It's a very well stocked hardware store. <laughs> okay, so they really want to attack. They've been waiting all game to attack. Okay. Uh, okay, that's that deals with the bookworm. Even so, their attacks aren't incredible. No, we can still trade with the witch if we want to. And we can still just eat. eat Killian. Fact, yeah, like, what do they even attack with here? And if they have to save Killian with, like. Yeah, if they have to save Killian with a pump spell, I guess it'll get cost reduced, so maybe they can still cast their five mana removal spell. Yeah. Do we, like, trade, do we trade the land in for the squad? Oh, not really, because the counter's going something. Yeah. Like, Beaming Defiance... Yeah, I don't believe you. Um, beaming Defiance doesn't kill the Wormhole Serpent, so I'd trade Beaming Defiance for Overgrown Arch. What else is there? There's Enthusiastic Study, which would be a two-for-one... Yeah. I think this is fine. Also, the bookworm survives. So. Yeah, if they go for a trick. Yes. Regular. Alright. Maybe it was a whoops. Whoop. Maybe genuine oops. They really want to kill the bookworm. Okay. Don't blame me. More pests. More land. Cult of, cult of eight. Ten drills, cult of eight. There's a reason we're playing one drills. Four, eight, make an eight-eight? It does seem good. And then we can just start making it unblockable. Yeah, exactly. And, like, yeah. end the game. Yeah. All right. Seems pretty good. Hopefully they don't remove this. Yeah, that'd be good. Don't remove it. Past the turn. It's nice that they just like put moved, you know, moved Killian from the battlefield into the the bin. That was nice, yeah. So I hope they, they enjoy the two life it gave them. They don't get the cost reduction on all their fun, fancy pump spells. Now, is this expel? Well, fractal summoning is an X spell. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and, then, um, and that's and that's comedy. That's comedy. Um, um, I mean, like, if it is, like, there's really no sense playing around it, right? Like, we just gotta... Well, there is, because for the same reason as last time, right? Because if they've got Expel in hand, they need to hold it up and not play out the rest of their hand. If we let them use the Expel here, then it frees up their hand. Yeah, okay. So if we just go, like, Campus... Do we even spend the Tendrils here? Or do we just, like... No, I think we just like Pass. cultivate. Grab the the dwindling lands left in our deck. It means that there's less chance of us drawing lands. We can draw more exciting, fun spells. Now, do we make the wormhole unblockable? I kind of don't want to lose that to an X spell either. So I think I might just hold up a scry. Yeah. Scry, scry, gain a life. Also, what you could do is, if you really want to do, you cash in the arch, get big frog, give it vigilance attack. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That is worth keeping in mind. Oh, yeah. good old nothing, nothing. We like nothing. Orator is good. So I'm gonna guess that they just drew Orator hot off the top. No, they drew planes off the top. Oh, okay. Which makes me That's... wonder why they were holding the Orator in hand. Because they they've got expel. And they couldn't do both. 
Oh, because then they got one white source. Oh, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Man, I cannot tell with the old style lands. Oh yeah, yeah, it's confusing. Hey, um, yeah, I think we go get. Well, let's have a look first. Yeah, good, good idea. Ooh, do you like that? Yeah. And then yeah, to turn this into a uh... a frog. Yeah. And then it turns out it's not expel, and like we're gonna feel like really, really stupid. So do you just go forest frog, put in infinite counters on the fractal, make it unblockable, dome them? Yeah. Oh. That's okay. Well, you can you can definitely cast Frost Trickster. Yeah, they get their own expanded anatomy. Okay. I could kill the spiteful squad. I mean, you just tapped it down. I know, but it's possible I should have just killed it. I think we wait to see what they put the counters on first. Well, it... if they put them on the Spiteful Squad, then they can put them somewhere else is the problem. Yeah, well, the we've disincentivized them from putting them on the squad by tapping I it. Suppose, yeah. Oh. Ah, that's what we kill. I've actually figured it out. Yeah. That one's easy. Wow, they're really going for it, huh? Interesting. They're hoping to hit some sort of anthem? Okay. Get the land? Oh, they're afraid of the, afraid of the death touch. Oh, right? yeah. Cause, yeah, that's that's why. Uh oh. They, they want to get Velomarchus through. Well, we can stop eating the pests, which is nice. Alright, I'm glad we got one. Yeah, it's about to do some real good work. Yeah. Do you gain some life? Though. Yeah. But, um... um. So I think I just tendrils Velomarchus straight away. Tendrils Velomarchus and then unblockable swing? Or do we hold it back? Oh no, yeah. Kill them. And now we sort of got to put them on. We've got to put them on Expel next turn. We go back. So it's possible they were holding up Study Break. This is true. Um, Swing? I mean, like, that's it, right? Well, it's like, do I want to get in with the Wormhole Serpent as well? I think we'd prefer to block with that, right? I'm just trying to think what happens if they killed a 10 10. I'm trying to have a, an out for us. Because if I put them to 7 then Wormhole Mountain Frost Trickster is lethal if I can... Yeah, I actually think I like that. But what if they just, like, trade it? Trade for it? No, I'm going to make it unblockable. Oh, 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 of course. Okay, yep. Like, I, I don't think we're in any, any danger of dying here. <laughs> <laughs> famous, famous last words. Oh, Sam. You you shouldn't have said anything. It's under seven. Okay, take it. Now they need. To... Took a big so, chunk out. So I suppose at this point they could kill the wormhole serpent, and yep. that would buy them a lot of time. Because they're just chumping. It's so possible. Whoa! Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Oh. Get out of here, Vela Marcus Lawhold. Yeah, got him. They drafted your deck. I know. Just before we uh, just before we fired up this draft, I joined Adrian for the tail end of one of his, and he had a a silver quill Vela Marcus Lawhold deck. Yeah, very very sort of similar to the deck that we just uh, faced. 
Um, yeah. But I think I got hooked up like way better. I had like Arta as well as Velmarcus. I had. Oh, maybe they were actually better because they had the Sedge Morwage. Hard to say, but yeah, the uh, the old Mardu splash red for Valmarcus while you're already in Silver Quill, very strong. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, okay, we, so uh, man, Wormhole Serpent was was key there because they went off with the Sedge Morwage and we just kind of ignored it. Yeah. In in Mayu, in Mayu, in Mayu. Ooh. Ah, uh, get some uh, blue though. Yeah, I, I actually like kind of like it. Yeah, no, it's good. It's good. Uh, my kingdom for an environmental sciences. Yeah, this is when um, this is when they, this is when they thought sees us. Like they play Inquisition on turn one, and yeah. then they yeah, take it. Yeah, it happen. Oof. No lash. <laughs> Skewered colony. Okay. They are running skewered. So I think we pop quiz? Yeah. Get a land. Drawing, drawing a land would be very nice. Oh, thank you. And I think I grab elemental summoning. Yeah. Tail, tail is old as time. And then Overgrown Arch is going to put some work in. Which is good. Yeah, next turn is probably Needle, Thorn, Drake, and Overgrown Arch. Yeah. Well, opponent's ramping as well. Are they? Oh, no, they got one black. Okay. Okay. Pest summoning, alright. Let's see pests to summon. Oh, mountains. Mountains good. Yeah, now I think we just play elemental summoning. Yeah. Oh, it feels so nice when your splash still enables your uh, your summoning. Yeah, I know. It feels like, oh, look, this is colorless now. Yeah. Feels very good. We could have done a similar thing if we put that... Uh, um... Teach by example in our deck where we could have cast it off two red sources. Oh yeah. So so we could have copied body of research for triple blue, triple green, double red. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's pretty cool. Promising Dusk Mage. But what are they promising really? Uh, um, this seems like a decent like trickster arch swing for four. Hmm. Is that what this is? I was think I was wondering if we want a Eureka moment, just to keep hitting the lands. Yeah. Um. Because <laughs> I don't mind playing defense here, and if we hit a certain land, we can play Needlethorn Drake. And if we hit, yeah, if we hit an island, we can play Needlethorn Drake. If we hit a land, we can play Overgrown Arch. Yeah. Okay. You've 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 talked me into it. Hey, nice. I think I prefer the the arch. You like the arch actually. better? Yeah, gaining some life and also just blocking their stuff. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because they they're gonna have to also attack into a four four. Oh, I guess the yeah. one one swings in the air. I don't know. Oh, not really into colony. It's got reach. That's eh, magic's hard, man. <laughs> it is. No, I think I think I like the arch there. I think you were right. Groff. The Groff. It's a 5 4. Alright, we're gonna have. We're Ooh. gonna have 6 6. I think we just start the parade of 6 6s. Start. Begin. Begin the parade. Um, so, not that you would know this, Sam, but I am out my window right now watching the most incredible lightning storm. Like, oh really? It, like it is really going oh. off. I just looked out my window and got a look at it. Yeah, that was the one that I would have just seen as well. Yeah. Oh wow. It is. Uh, huh. It is going down out here. The boomers were right. If only we looked outside instead of at our computer screens. It's true. We would we would become so much more enlightening. <laughs> Get alive. Double okay. needle thorn drake. Um I mean just make do we another just six six? Make another six six or do we start landing the serpent so we can start swinging? Now let's get some six sixes. Yeah. 
And then in two lands time, we've got we've got an explosive diarrhea. <laughs> that was that was specifically against Sturdy Turd. That is true. I don't know what Inumayu is explosive. Is that when you like hold the mayo bottle too tight and it just explodes everywhere? Ah, uh, explosive mayonnaise. Explosive mayonnaise. <laughs> Ah, uh, okay, land's good. Seven mana is good as well. So I think we go Wormhole Needlethorn Drake. Wormhole Drake, yeah, Wormhole Drake. Do we do we attack? No, I don't think so. I think this one also it's better to put in a whole lot of good work. Yeah, we're just gonna start punching through with the six sixes. Yeah, and then they're also stuck on land, so. Well, not not for long. I mean, to be fair, every deck is stuck on lands compared to ours. <laughs> that that is true. Okay. They're thinking. Speaking of, I went to uh Spectre of the Fens. Spectre of Fens. I went to my uh my local good games. Tuesday Night Modern last night, and that's eight mana, but I think I just want to use the Wormhole Serpent. Yeah, you could use like, it twice. Could use it twice, even. Get in for 12. Show them Sounds pretty the same play sense. pattern next turn for lethal. So let's attack with... I mean, we're oh. in the beginning of combat. Let's attack with these... Submit one. I'm good at this. Pay, pay them out. What I pay. Resolve, you think I've like never played in full control before? Cho choose targets. Pay, pay, pay costs. Yep. Wow, that was a big lightning strike. God damn. How good are how good are electrical storms? They're great, especially when you can like really see them, like I am now. Get Dear the... opponent, are you dead? Oh, Get out of here. very dead, it would Get seem. Get out of here. The wolf... Five and two. Okay, five and we've, two. We've made it to... Oh, I can't remember what that five two you came up with. Is it Zergo Helm Smasher? That, that certainly sounds impressive. We could be at Zergo Helm Smasher. That's, could, that could be where we are. And we're about to make a break for... Oh, no, no, we're a Blitzleech. We are a Blitzleech. Oh, we are a Blitzleech. A, a, bl bl a Blitzleech, yes. Um, Base nod. <laughs> words are hard, okay? People don't, people don't like, you know, make it known enough. Words are very difficult. Hey, and speaking for words, actually, um, those of you on here may not know, but I actually have a, a column over at Good Games Australia where I write about... Um, competitive standard and modern uh but i've been i've been begging and pleading for them to let me write about limited because i love standard and modern but i love limited more and uh he's a he's a draft have, punk uh, they, i am i'm a draft punk through and through and they have finally relented and so you uh published uh today as at that time of recording but a few days ago for you you find people uh, did finally publish my first limited article uh, so I'll uh, I'll link it in the in the description if you want to go have a look at it. Uh, I think I'm gonna mulligan this hand though. Yeah, it might also be on screen right now. It's kind of funny because the name of my column is constructed criticism, and this week I wrote about limited. It's it's uh, a good, yeah, good bit of keep, it seems good. Keep this. Put Eureka moment back. Yeah. Cultiv cultivate's great. Cultivate's gonna do good work here. So we are a blitz leech. I mean, it's it's take your pick of five twos, really. Like we could be a lot of things. We could be a Myojin of Knight's Reach. Oh, that's a good one. We could be a Scuzzback Marauders. I think I just go get two islands here. Yeah, we need blue them above other things at the moment. This 
said Another Claw Winch again. Uh, okay, so let's go... Pop, pop mm. quiz. Oh. Yeah, oh, that that would oh, that should have one. been a forest. Uh, I'll grab an, a Lola Mental. Okay, so we're a forest away from body of research. Forest away. Um, we've, got, we've got plenty of things to do in the meantime. Yeah, Leyline Invocation, Summoning. We need a red source for the Masterpiece, but yeah. Yeah, that's why I played the pop quiz before the Needlethorn Drake, because if we drew a, uh, a Prismari campus, there was a chance we wanted to run that out. Hey, the there's a red source. And these shell appear. I think I'm just going to play Elemental Summoning. Yeah. Yeah. Because then we got Masterpiece next turn. Yeah. No Lash, please. Yeah, Lash should be bad. Okay, good, good, good. We've got quite the hand lined up. Yeah, four, we're just going to sort of go... 7-7, 27-27. 27-27. Seven, seven, well, it's going to be a 26-26. What? What? Okay, this is something. Well, what do you got? What could this be? Um, What's the, what's the good pump spell? Big play? Could be big play. But, it, but even then, it dies to death touch. Does die to death touch, but they kill both of them, and they... And yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, what else are we going to do? Yeah, let's let's yeah. make them I mean, it. I could just block the Skirid Colony, but then I just get owned by, by big play. I think I like this. I wonder if they've got a way to bring the Sedgemore Witch back? Oh. So just one mana to kill our needle one drake. Okay. Seems interesting. Seems fair enough. Oh. Okay. Okay. Did they have to pay three luck for that? No, that's a ward is only a bonus. Yeah, ward's like yeah. hexproof. So yeah. just put a couple of four falls on the board. I'd say so. Bam. So I right to get double island before... Yeah, we've got the same number of forests and islands. It's really just oh. a coin flip. Oh. It's Damo. Hello. Hello. Um, I guess I just make a 7-7. Seven, seven. Yeah. Their board is set up quite well for Damogoth Titan, I will say. Yeah, it is. Sedgemore, which is a pretty, pretty nice combo. Uh, what would be really nice is a uh, land for bookworm. Or any land for body of research. Oh, sorry, any green land. Do a double I block I here? Do yeah. yeah. So it would feel real bad if they've got something, but... Come on. Go through, go through. Okay. Demo. Demo the goth titan. He's down. It's about the best Demigod Titan I've seen. No chance. That's fine. Needle Drake. Okay, so let's go kill the drop one. If need be, we can use this to get back Cultivate. Um. Yeah, I mean, I'd probably prefer to get back the Masterpiece. Yeah, that's probably better. Like, we'll, we'll draw a, another green. That's just, you know, this is going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. And we just gotta be patient. I want a 24-24. Well, then that number is dropping by the turn. Okay, there's another colon colon Y. If we look at this really hard, try and look deep inside it. Is that a colonoscopy? Oh. I think so. Okay, well, uh, one more so play this, get back masterpiece. Yeah. Yes. I think that's better than one seven seven. Oh yeah, for sure, right? 
like eight power over two bodies is better than seven power over one. Yeah. Especially with a Sedgemore Witch in play. Okay, hits the double green finally. Uh, we've got the combo as well. We've got Ooh, the Oh, I'm afraid. That's scary. I'm afraid. Well, you've got no. it. You got us for one damage there. No, no blocks. No blocks. Hey, Hallelujah. we did it. Let there be 24 24s. Let there be 24 24s. No, 22 22. Sure. 22 22. It's, it's uh, one short of being able to kill them. <laughs> in just one. Well, we've also got. Oh, it's. I mean, we could Sorry, just I make, can make the... two things unblockable. Yeah. So, unless they've got removal, they are dead. Dead. Okay. This. Okay, they haven't left up double black for the exile spell, though. Yeah, so I wonder if they're going to get uh, Annihilation. Oh, we can put them to one. Annihilation? D have we just won now? No, I. <laughs> Uh, the, yeah, no, because I've got 26. Come on, attack with your Skirid Colonies. Mm. I mean, we could just do it over two turns. Like, like they're going to take 22 this turn. So I, wonder, I actually wonder if they're going to annihilate the Wormhole Serpent. That it would seem to be better. Um... So if we spend four mana making the twenty two twenty two unblockable, how much mana do we, does that leave us with? Four, which gives us four. a berry in books. Yeah. In the following turn, so we don't just die to the silly crack back, which is what this is shaping up to look like. Yeah. Um, so if they, what happens if they annihilate the wormhole serpent and attack with everything? We bury Lisette block drake on mage hunter 4-4 four, four on 3-3 three, three, and we take 7 plus 4 is not lethal that seems good ah uh, but the berry will put us to 12 so we'll go to 1 Oofed. and if they've got a way to gain life we will lose but or do we just I cast 2 4-4s four here I think that's a pretty good line I really want to take the chance to hit them for 22. That, yeah, good point. Unblockable 22-22. Ah, if only they hadn't gained life. Ah, oh, we're one short. Yeah, I know. It's so frustrating. Then we've got Bookworm next turn, which... Yeah. Do you get to draw a card? Okay. Doesn't really... Like to attack? Just puts, puts them all... on us. Wow, okay. Yeah. Sure. You could even tuck it if you wanted to. But I think we want to leave the tucking for... Well, I'm going to use my mana every turn for the next couple of turns. So I actually don't mind that. Uh, is that ridiculous? It could be. It feels a bit ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess we're just playing a bookworm or we're playing a masterpiece. Yeah, I think I like bookworm. Trample Trample's good here. Yeah. Oh yeah, I can I can attack with the bookworm and then bury what they block with. Yeah. And and you know, gaining a life and drawing this card is also pretty good. Gaining three life for a card also quite real. Explosive welcome is just the win. True, yeah. Green. Okay. They've got a white source in there randomly. 
yeah, I wonder if they're just playing an off color, an off color um campus for the scry value. Oh, that's a bit they always have rise. They 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 always have it. Well, at least they get, right. didn't get pointed at the two two. I mean the twenty two twenty two. Sorry, the quadruple two. <laughs> okay, it's a little bit of a problem. I feel like we deserve to draw. Um, Explosive welcome. Yeah. Well, we're taking four here, I guess. I guess so, yeah. Like, letting them gain a life when they have a mana up does not help us. Yeah. <sighs> okay, so... Let me hit you with this idea. Mm. We could masterpiece, but then we just keep taking pest hits. Mm. If we bury Lissette, mm. we can start chumping, we can start blocking their pests, which means they probably stop attacking with their pests. Yeah, true. And we can also, which will give us time. Yeah. Which is what we need to sort of I mean, they'll so gain got... life when we block the pests, but I don't know what else we do. So we've got nine mana. This will take five. So if I play an untapped land, I can scry as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, shush, opponent. Yeah. Interesting they're not attacking with the 1-1 one -one pests. So do we I, bury I expect and... they're leaving them as chump blockers. Do we bury and so then I, go I to blocks? I think i bury before blocks just in case this doesn't work. Yeah, agreed. Lose yeah. a life. Man, why'd our bookworm have to get exiled? Because that's that's how the world works. Unfortunately. Okay. Time to block. Which means now this is the hilarious part. We're gonna draw welcome now. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> um <laughs> Blood Researcher. Okay, oh, wow. Oh, played it post-combat? Okay. okay. So we kind of... We, we pulled a little bit of a fast one on him. That was the world's most obvious... Uh... Bounce spell. Yeah, because they knew we had Masterpiece in hand. Um. Okay, so let's go Masterpiece. I think I attack with the 22-22. Just so they can chump block it with a 1-1? One -one? Just force a chump block. Is that silly? I'd prefer to leave it back as a blocker. It's not doing much more than that on blocks, though. So if they attack with everything, we're, go we're about to go down to... 7. So if, we atta if they attack with everything... We block Mage Hunter Colony Colony Token. We take six. Yeah, that's not great. I think it's just masterpiece sequence pass. Yeah. The life loss from this Mage Hunter is unfortunate. Yeah. Hey, we got the we got the double scry next turn. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's an, it's another creature, which is relevant. Yeah. So what what really gets us out of this pickle? I mean, welcome's pretty good. 
Welcome's a pretty good start, yeah. Because we can... Don't... Like, I reckon if we get Welcome, we probably go 5-3 on their colonies and start whacking in with the flyer. Okay, Lissette's on the top. Man, if we could mill them, that would be awesome. That's a way to mill us. Oh, I should have probably just grind up here. Okay, now I want to attack with the 22-22. Okay. And once Lissette comes back down, we're about to start taking pest hits again, I imagine. Oh, uh, yeah. Man, imagine we gave it trample in response. <laughs> Nice. Have we got the double scry at the end of their turn? Damn. Yeah, we do. What are we digging for? Welcome is a pretty good start, but it doesn't do the full job. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, they got Leech Fanatic as well. Yuck. Oh, uh, that is pretty yuck. Our board's not bad, though. I'm trying to see what we haven't drawn yet. We've got two Leyline Invocations. Explosive Welcome. That's about it. Like, I, like how do we get the damage through, though? I know, that's the trouble. Whoop. A big one. They make an attack like this. Okay, so... You can block here. You can block here. You can block here. Ooh, are we dead? I think we might be dead. Oh, yeah, I dead. thought you were like, we're gonna live. I think I might have screwed this. So hang on. Oh no 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 no! I see. That's take six three. here. Oh yeah, that's six. And they'll and then, get the counters after damage. And then we should kill them on the crackback. Uh, they didn't play expanded anatomy pre-combat, which is interesting, right? Yeah, I don't this know is... how we kill them on the crackback, but. I'll leave that to the crackback. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's 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 do it. Not dead. Come on. Come on, not dead. No! No! <laughs> uh... That would have been pretty good. Yeah. Oh man. Tandrels would have been good. So with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was there anything different I could have done there? I don't know. I don't think so, because it was the lower power creatures that got in. Like, I didn't leave anything. Like, you could have maximized blockers, I guess, if you didn't block the witch. But I, I had to block the witch. Right. Yeah, that was when I did the math the first time, was when I, I tried to do it without blocking the witch. Ah, oh, damn. Oh, and they had snakeskin veil. Jeez. Oh, this deck was sweet. Well, it was. We definitely made some large fractals. We we made some twenty two twenty twos. We made we made the Mandelbrot set. <laughs> the Mandelbrot set in creature form. Yeah. Also known as a big boar. <sighs> yeah, I was going to be upset if I got to the end of this format and didn't get a chance to play with this card. Oh yeah, we uh, well we can tick that one off the list. Uh, but we ended we ended five three. Or six three. Five and three. 
five and three. Yeah. Five and three. What's a what's a famous five three from throughout the years? I think we we're five and three. Five and three. Um, there's there's a lot of five threes. We got Angelic Overseer, a mythic from Innistrad. Okay. Um, what else? We got Debtor's Transport. There, you know that one. I do know Debtor's Transport. Yep. Uh, what else we got? Well, there's lots of five threes. Um, jeez. Any vanilla five threes? Any vanilla five threes? There's gotta be. Yet Canal Monitor from Rivals of Ixalan. Okay. It's a vanilla five mana black five three. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Frost Ogre from uh, Betrayers of Kamigawa. <laughs> okay. Um, any other vanilla five threes? Yeah. Well, Casimir of the Lone Wolf, a six mana blue white vanilla five three. That's very strange. From Legends. Oh, Juggernaut's a 5-3. Oh, yeah, Juggernaut. Lodestone Golem's a 5-3. Oh, yeah. Mostodon is a 5-3. Uh, Nylea's Forerunner from Terrace Beyond Death. That's a, that's a classic. Skizik's okay. a 5-3. All right, we're going to cut off Adrian as he reads out every 5-3 in Quite Magic. Plenty of 5-3. Rake, Rake Claw Gargantuan is a 5-3. All right, that'll do us for this week. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for another edition of Five Three Punks. I mean, Draft Punks. Uh, pick of the week. Up on screen right now. Just going to slowly turn Adrian's fader down. Um, yeah, pick of the week. Let us know what you would have taken here. This was a tough one. Um, we'd love to hear from you. We would not love to hear from Adrian anymore. <laughs> yeah, pick of the week. I, I like. There was one that we um we we talked about but i don't even know if that would be it do you remember what it was uh no <laughs> but the viewers know it's up on screen right now so yeah drop us a comment let us know what you would have taken here keen to hear from you yeah definitely um so we've actually got two comments um from the same guy so we'll do it in chronological order um from strixhaven draft three team of masterpiece um uh he's changed his name to mork um, yeah, he said, watching MTG content where the win rate isn't that great makes me feel better about getting smoked in drafts. That's why I watch you guys. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's awesome to hear. Thank you very much. We've, uh, definitely had, uh, one or two drafts in here that we've been absolutely crushed in. So good to hear that you're here for the, the, the fun. Not so much the look at us go 7 0 every week. I mean, it's definitely the rarity, though, right? Like, we we never make mistakes. We never get owned by our opponents. Oh, speaking really. of so never think, making mistakes, this I is. I think, a, th to be fair, Mork has probably come to the wrong channel. Okay, that's a good point. Yeah, you... it, it's just kind of all refined, perfect play and crushing of opponents over here. So, yeah, maybe, maybe find a new channel, Mork. Yeah, yeah, and I mean, we said it in the uh, we said it in the the best ofs. You know, this is deadly serious drafting. I mean, it is, and we're gonna we're gonna stick to that pretty, you know, decisive. No comedy here. No losing here. Not even in this video. We didn't zero do any losing. Losing zero drafting. That being said, this was a zero drafting. <laughs> zero drafting. Zero losing. Zero drafting. Hey, you can't lose if you don't draft. <laughs> The next, the next set of videos from Draft Punks are just going to be a black screen for two hours. <laughs> yeah, or it's just me and Sam sitting in like the arena lobby, just making jokes, <laughs> talking about how good we are and how great we would be if we actually fired up a game, and how that Barrage Tyrant is another five three. <laughs> um, speaking oh, of, God. uh, no, no mistakes. Today was a puntless draft. Oh wow, it was. We didn't we didn't punt it once. At least not that we noticed. Yeah, I mean we that could be that could be a, the case where it turns out we did and we sort of like do it in post, but no yeah. no punts that were obvious at least. Yeah, none that none that I noticed. I thought we might have punted at the end there when they made that all out attack, like I probably should have done the calculation to see if we were dead on the crack back. As it turns out we weren't. So we're okay, but it was a bit lazy of me. I probably should have like 
actually checked. <laughs> yeah, the, the single point of power got them through in the end. Yeah, exactly. Um, and another comment from Mork on Strixhaven draft number four. Uh, I may be a nerd, but at least I got seven wins with my second sun deck. Well, la di da, Mork. Um, Look at this guy. Comes into our comment section, our safe place. Yeah. The place where we have kindly invited him. And, just, and he savagely roasts us. Yeah, throwing all kinds of shade. But, um. It, I don't come into your home, Mork, and partake of your food <laughs> and then tell you that the food I made at home was so much better. <laughs> but yes, um. Which is even funnier if you think of it as me just coming into your place and helping myself to your fridge. Yeah. I mean, taking their fridge. <laughs> just take the fridge. Just, I'll have the fridge, thanks. Hey, Mork, is your fridge running? <laughs> it's not, because I am, because I've got it, and I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, uh, but yes, Mork, uh, thank you um, for commenting. Um, thanks for... Also, you, 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 you know this, because you're watching this video now, hopefully. We had a little bit of a discussion afterwards. It was very good. We... Uh, learned about like your efforts to try and get your mates into magic and we wish you all the best and um yeah like if you have that second sun deck in like a screen cap or a list somewhere do send it through we'd love to love to hear from you yeah we should say we do reply to each and every comment that we get so if you are uh, it's not just on... mork it's not yeah we we ignore everyone else and we reply to mork only it's it's a conspiracy uh, yeah, if you leave a, let us know what you think of pick of the week, or what you thought of the draft, or just what you've got in your fridge at the moment. Yeah, or do. if you have a fridge that you would like us to steal from you, <laughs> or if you have any favorite five threes that you would like to <laughs> just you know jot down and enough us. enough if you'd like to be featured in our next episode all you need to do is drop us a comment on one of our videos or share us on social media and let us know it's a massive help to us uh and it's and you get to be famous it's just upside for everyone uh you can find us on twitter at draftpunksmtg everything separated by underscores you can contact me personally my name is sam at calm underscore mirror and you can find me adrian at walkerade and adrian do you know what they call a werewolf on YouTube? No, but I bet it's a 5-3. Oh, God. No. <laughs> it's a like and subscribe.